Got this shit about the mud still grinding like I'm trying to get my weight up. When it gave too many chances to you niggas, I can't let nobody play us. Yeah, I got in my back when I looked up, ain't seen them but a bunch of haters. No matter how much money we went through, we never let the paper change us. Uh, I done ran it up out the mud, I get paid to pop out of clubs. Put my pride in them in my budget, I watch people change, can't trust them. I got rich, but I'm still hustling, all my full speed of that cash. I can feel the shit in my cab muscles, reminiscing back when I ain't have none. Now they acting like they all happy for me, where was you at when I needed it? Hey bookies, what's up? It's your girl Sierra Sheree Official and I am back with another official video. Today is Thursday the 24th. Yeah, today is Thursday, October 24th and we are about to go to the gym. This is not my normal, you know, gym day. I normally do Mondays, Wednesday, Friday, but I did my hair Sunday night. So, I needed my lace to be melted. And I didn't want to do, like, any extreme sweating or anything until I knew it was, you know, on my head. But I went to the gym Tuesday. And last night I went to work. And then I'm debating on if I'm going to go to work tonight. I'm going to see how I feel when I, you know, get out the gym. Big Mama started her cycle yesterday so you know that first full day although i'm not like cramping terribly i just don't like the feeling of it just not you know being normal down there i just <sighs> yeah and i'm bloated i am so bloated but i'm gonna take me some period medicine and go ahead and take my vitamins for the day if you haven't already, check out Black Girl Vitamins. The link will be in my bio. Use my code. You get 20% off your entire purchase. You can tell I'm on my period because I'm just feeling so draggy. It's 140, 149. So I need to go ahead and get out of here. Today is arms, back, and abs. So a little easy day and then by saturday this week instead of friday i should be you know calming down a little bit my period cramps only last for like a day or two and then after that we are smooth sailing but yeah i'm about to go ahead and take my vitamins i need to get some more pre-workout but i'll probably just go ahead and get that saturday as well before the gym because i'll be going to the bank saturday before the gym but we have to go to the bank, stop and get some food. It's grocery shopping time. So I need to go and get some groceries. I just hate like when it's time for me to go grocery shopping. And I have to, because really Chick-fil-A is the only thing that I like to eat before the gym. Everything else and everywhere else doesn't really have, you know, something quick and light enough for... The gym aspects, I don't, you know, I already told y'all I don't eat beef. I don't really want to have no fries. Um, I need something I can just pick up and go. So, Chick-fil-A it is. I think I'm going to switch it up, though, and get a wrap and, like, a fruit cup or something. Just because it's a real, like, gym day. But let me go ahead and grab my money from Monday and wednesday wednesday weren't really hitting on much of anything but i didn't leave with nothing i made 300 dollars wednesday and i made nine monday all by myself too all by myself so i'm taking a thousand to the bank today um monday it wasn't really nothing going on it was two girls birthdays and like, they kind of had sections blocked off or whatever. 21 Savage came in there. But, I don't know. I wasn't even over there to see what he was doing. Baby J brought out some money or whatever. But, it didn't pertain to me. I don't know if they're local or not. But, it was this guy. It was a bunch of guys. And then some girls. It was probably like three girls. 
But early in the night, the girls probably had like $300 or something, but that was slow tipping. And it was two girls dancing for them. Um, and at that time, one of the girls was like, she only wanted the two girls that was dancing. So I had walked off or whatever. Walked around a little bit, see what was going on. It wasn't really nothing going on. So I was just sitting by the stage and the guy came over and asked if I could dance for them. I didn't even think that was going to cut up the way they did. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to cut up the way they did. And they, yeah. So it was two, two of the guys had a song that was getting played or whatever. So the first song they turned up and then the DJ kept, not the one that I like, but he, don't get me started. Anywho, he kept messing up their music. So I'm pretty sure I could have made, you know, a little band, 1100. Cause when I said it wasn't holding that shit at all, and it was just me. They was doing a little recording or whatever. But, you know, I just kept my face out of the way. Did my little thing. And they was spending that check. So I made 900 over there with them. And it was easy. I know I love it when it's easy. I love it when it's easy. And I always tell myself, what's for me is going to be for me. Always. I had an $80 sales Monday. And... I had a fifty dollars sales last night, made three hundred, but it wasn't nothing going on. I think it was like one section that was spending some money, but they probably had like eight girls over there. But yeah, I had to go ahead and take that to the bank. I put a hundred to the side because it was eleven hundred. I put a hundred to the side for tonight or tomorrow, depending. Because I'm not really like cramping like that, and I feel like you know once I get to the gym, I will wake up because I went to sleep at like. 7 o'clock this morning. And I was back up to like 11.30. Once I get to the gym and stuff, I'm going to be up. And I'm going to come home, go ahead and put these files on my computer because tomorrow I have a free day. So I'm going to edit this full video to get up at 9 tomorrow. I think my new days are going to be Fridays at 9 versus Mondays. I think that's what I'm going to start doing Fridays. I like that day better. So, yeah, Tuesday I just did my studying, and Sunday we are going to church, but y'all gonna see all of that in this video. I just put my little headband on, got these black shorts on, so yeah, let me go ahead and make my pre-workout, and let's get on the road, because I want to be back home before 5, even though I don't have to be to work till like 11.30. Versus 10.30-ish. I get a little time, a little leeway. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to eat after the gym just as of yet. But, but, your girl went ahead and started doing her winter shopping. Because last couple of days it's been cold. Right now it's probably not cold. Because the sun is out and stuff. But, I went and got, well, I have a pair of shoes downstairs waiting. But, I went ahead and started getting some of my fall winter sneakers and I have a big Shein cart so I'm gonna do a Shein fall winter haul with that once I get everything in but after rent you know get paid whatever whatever that's when I'm gonna get my cart and then I'm gonna get a heavier coat sometime next month because it's not really called for right now but I found a really cute coat that I'm gonna get so yeah come on child Come on, let me take this period medicine and get on up out of here. Of course, everything pink on my wallet. And then I'm about to go ahead and make my pre-workout. I only got a little bit left. Got to take that. So, I don't know if I'm going to get this flavor again. I honestly don't know what flavor I'm going to get. But this is one of my favorite. I love when I be tingling. <laughs> so, I had to get this jug of eternal because when I went to the Dollar Tree Tuesday, they did not have any waters. Today is Thursday, and the last time, well, not the last time, but the guy told me they get their trucks on Thursday, so I'm going to go and see. Oh, I'm so bloated, bro. I hate that feeling. 
But I'm going to go and see. Oh, yeah, this is my last scoop. I'm going to go and see. I just don't want this fucking powder to be on. Oh. I'm crying. I'm literally trying to scoop all that I can out of here. It was almost a whole cup, but that should be enough. There ain't nothing left in there. So I have to get some waters after the gym. I'm still trying to decide what I want to eat. I don't know. I had kava the other day. Somebody asked for my kava order, and I was so upset because... She said it was her first time and I didn't even see the message until after the fact. So I gave my Kava order and I went to Kava. I think she might have went to Kava that same day or either the following day. Cause I had went to Dick's and picked up my shoes. I went to Dick's two days in a row and if you didn't know, Dick's be having them sneakers. They be having every sneaker that, you know, you could want for real, for real. So, I got two pair of Adidas so far, and I got two pair of Dunks. It's these New Balances that I got my eye on. I'm going to show them to y'all when I get home, but it's these New Balances that I got my eye on, and these Asics that I got my eye on. So, those are probably going to be my last two pair of, like, sneakers. I'm going to get another pair of tan Uggs. I have black Uggs. And I'm probably going to buy me some more silver Vermos. Because I really like those sneakers. And mine's kind of dingy. They're a little dingy. They're still cute, but they're just a little dingy. So I'm probably going to get another pair of those too. My camera overheated, but yeah, like I was saying... I'm going to probably get another pair of Vermo 5s. And that's going to be my little winter lineup for the... And luckily, a lot of the shoes I can still wear spring into next summer. But, yeah, come on, let's go. Because my camera was overheated. That's why I turned off. But, come on, boogies. So, I have made it to the gym. Went to the bank, got some food. And I'm about to try to make this work out as quick as possible because I at least want to take like a two hour nap before I go to work. I'm going to go to work tonight. I normally don't be going on Thursdays, but I'm going to go tonight. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tie my edges up and use the bathroom, etc. And get this workout started. I haven't done this before, but I've been tie my edges down with a paper strip and then I'll put a band on just to make sure it's secure but it'll be kind of like behind the paper strip so I'm about to try to work out like this just to see you know if it absorbs my sweat a little bit in how that looks then I just put my headphones on have me a little clip to tie my hair up while I'm stretching I normally take it out when I'm jump roping and then I put it back in once I'm debating if I want to put my bag in the locker or not but yeah this is what it looks like be check be check be check be bitch check So that's what we looking like. 
let me go do what I gotta do, my grown woman thing, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start. Zaxby's and got a salad so after I shower and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and eat I want to try to get like an hour and 30 minute nap in but I'm gonna show y'all some of the sneakers that I've gotten so far you're tired and I got but <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna show y'all some of the sneakers that I've gotten so far and then when I get my last two pair of sneakers sneakers then I'll show y'all those when they come in. And then we're going to do a whole winner for all type thing. Child. I'm tired. I was contemplating on not going to work. But something said. Mm, mm, go to work. Go to work. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just work the rest of the weekend. See what it's talking about. But let me go ahead and grab these sneakers, show y'all so I can wash my face, shower, eat, and get at least an hour, hour and a half nap in. Luckily, my hair is already done, so I don't have to do anything to my hair. So when I get up, I can just do my face and head on out. So here are some of my recent pickups. So we're going to start off with... These Sambas, the black with the white stripe, super cute. And then I have these forest green and white dunks. And then, how freaking cute are these? So it's these brown and like cream off white kind of dunks. I was going to get some brown vermos, but I can wear a lot more with these versus what those look like. And these were the ones I was waiting for in the mail. Another pair of Sambas. Gray, black, and then it has that like gum bottom. So there's like Two more pair of shoes that I'm going to get. And then that's going to be like pretty much as far as sneaker goes. 
all of my sneakers besides me getting the white and silver remotes again so i'm about to go ahead and head out for the night now if i could have been asleep but i'm at work and ain't making no money it's gonna be a issue it's not gonna really be an issue but i'm gonna be highly disappointed because i could have been asleep and starting on my video but nonetheless i'm glad my lashes are almost out face simple My lashes coming up over here so I gotta fix that when I get to work. Call you back, boogies. I am on the way to church, and this is the attire. I don't know if y'all can see my shoes, but I got my brown dunks on. Just put these little frames on. And I've had this cardigan for a minute now. And I had the perfect shoes to wear it with this time, but I'm running a little bit behind, so we gotta go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna feel y'all in on where I've been for the last two days. I said I wasn't gonna rant about it no more, which I'm not gonna rant, but yeah. I have to stop by Publix or something after church so I can get some stuff to make my, um, so my camera died when I was leaving at the house, but I'm leaving church now. And God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. And that's what the sermon was about today. I got here probably like right at two o'clock and they were still just going over. It's so cold outside. But they were still just going over um, their two year anniversary because today is their two year anniversary of them being in Atlanta. And yeah every sermon just speaks to me because god don't like ugly and took my took my little notes took my little notes okay god don't like ugly y'all god do not like ugly and that's all i gotta say and that's all i'm gonna say referring to you know the whole work situation but God don't like ugly. <laughs> but yes, I'm about to go ahead and head home. I got some. I already licked the icing off of this one, but I got some little cupcakes. They had cupcakes. I never had a blue red velvet or a blue velvet. I can't remember what she said it was, but something like a blue velvet or something of that nature but i never had it before so snack on that and we're going it's the perfect weather it's the perfect weather to make my chicken and dumplings i already have my biscuits at home i need to get chicken broth i already have onion i need to get carrots celery and some paper towel i think that's everything that i need to get from the store Fuck. I may have to get a pack of chicken. Dang. I forgot to take my chicken out. So I may have to get a pack of chicken that's already kind of thawed out. To go ahead and cook as well. Because I forgot to take the chicken that I have in the freezer out. Dang. Hmm. So chicken, celery, carrots, chicken broth. Um, paper towel, I think that's it, I think that's it, I think that's it, so come on bookies, let's go make some chicken and dumplings. So I came to Kroger's cause the way that I came, it was right here. And I'm just ready to get what I got to get so I can get home. But it don't look too crowded today. But we shall see.
I just looked at my wrist, I got time today Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today The hate be so real, the love be fake Be bumping they gums and bumping my tape Don't go against me, they ask for my help Go get out your feelings and get it yourself Might got the same shoes, but you ain't gon' step That shit that you just put out, you coulda kept Yo, she got a nigga, he got a shirt Why? You can't compete when you can't compare She ate the dick through my underwear uh, Got up and got herself out of there I see they put me on memes and things Don't speak on my life without knowing the real They figures a year where they cost me to live Don't hold it, just say what you feel But watch your mouth before I fly at your bitch Work to a place that she didn't know it's easy oh. Met up to run in your water, my wrist Yeah, she be no piss, how I'm talking my shit Six feet to check for a show, man, I'm lit Let's celebrate that my bag look cheap These oh. niggas with me for whatever I'm with Nobody. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today These bitches will cry and be lying in your face Slick of the nuts, gotta know how they play If the money went straight, she won't be here today Ain't that man, y'all know what to say You ain't me, so it's hard to relate What? How much cash I fuck off every day? Big bag, don't play with me, baby Don't play with your pussy You see them in person, these niggas be shook A hunch you a cost you a quick hold of boogie I'm worth it to pull from the foot You're Surrounded by bitch four I'm looking like William the thing, my girlfriend's nah. high take his L's now but anyways I don't like Kroger's I don't know it's just uh, never really been a Kroger's girl well no I used to go there when I first moved to Atlanta but I don't know it's just not my life and I feel like it's congested But anywho, I'm about to go ahead and head home. I am back at home. I've changed, come about in the clothes, ready to relax. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this instead of going to sleep because it's already six o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my chicken. <laughs> I'm going to clean my chicken and I have all of my stuff right here ready. So the only thing I have to do is clean my chicken and go ahead and cook the chicken. I don't know why I didn't get a rotisserie because I've seen some people using that. But the video that I'm going off of, she actually had chicken thighs. And I've seen a lot of people using chicken thighs. I'm not really a chicken thigh kind of girl. So I just got some chicken breast cutlets. And I have my heavy whipping cream. My cream of chicken, chicken broth, and fresh garlic. I already had an onion that I had cut up, so I have my onion. And I got this like little $5 celery and carrot because I didn't really see a purpose in me buying the bulk carrot and the bulk celery when, yeah. So this would be easy to just go ahead and cut up and even if I don't cook right away, because <laughs> I would love to lay down, 
But even if I don't cook right away, I'm going to go ahead and prep all my veggies and stuff, clean my chicken so I can just put everything in a pot. When I do get up, I'm going to set an alarm. This is really all I have to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do some studying tonight. I finished my video last night that I wanted to go out on Friday, but it's going to go out tomorrow. So, it's okay. Um, and yeah, I didn't work this weekend, y'all. Because I am just wholeheartedly over it. And it's only when I encounter this one, one office lady. I'm not going to rant about it, but work Thursday night when I could have stayed home and finished my video. I said that. I think that was like a couple clips back, but could have stayed home and finished my video. Why are you charging me a hundred? And then other people that I was in a section with, when the section was weak, it was towards the end of the night. He was so drunk and he had a whole bunch of people with him. But charging him fifty, sixty dollars. Yeah, so that's that. And tomorrow I plan on going up to the club to talk to the big man, the person who actually owns that motherfucker. And just voice my opinion and, and concerns because I'm not liking how I'm being treated. And last night, um, in a little home base app, it was a little list of people who couldn't work or whatever because they didn't pay sales or they didn't go to their shift or whatnot. My name was on there. I already wasn't planning on going to work, but my name was on there. And I had wrote a message to the person that I gave my sales to because she ended up leaving. The son of the manager let me pay $50 like the rest of the people that you told $50, $60. So my name was on the list or whatever. So I wrote a little message and neither one of them checked it, which is okay. Which is okay because now I'm going to go talk to your daddy and your boss. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and cut my veggies up. I think I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean this chicken. I forgot a lemon, but I do have some vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And get this on a row. I really want to lay down. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. So I think that's what I'm going to do and just prep everything. Put it in the refrigerator. So when I get up, I can go ahead and make my food. I want to try to get in the gym early tomorrow just so I can go up there before a certain time. And if I can't talk to him, I'm going to talk to another lady that's like kind of under him and still over them. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Interacting with Shorty just really had me so drained. Like so drained. Friday... I didn't really do nothing. Um, what did I do Friday? I can't even remember what I did Friday. But I did go out Friday. Yesterday, I was in the bed all day. I was in the bed all day. That's how I know the devil is working. <laughs> That's how I know. That's how I know. The devil really be working through people. The devil really be working through people. And I just got to try to stay away from this lady, not interact or anything, because I don't know what, what your issue is, and I really don't give a damn, but you're not finna keep trying me like that. You're not finna keep trying me like that. You're not finna keep trying me like that. So now I'm finna go tell. Hmm. Now I'm finna tell, because that's not what you finna do. I don't care don't care so yeah i'll be working tomorrow and probably the rest of the week i'm so happy to get my car back this week take this rental back halloween is on thursday i said i wasn't working thursdays no more and i was just gonna work on wednesdays i don't know i don't know i don't know but let me go ahead and do this prep. I'm going to come back, show y'all my prep, and debate if I'm going to go ahead and cook. I'm going to see how I feel after I finish, you know. But before I go, 
Kroger's had $6.99 dozen roses. So, I got me some roses. I'm going to go ahead and put those, you know, in their little pot a little later as well. And let me, a reason I don't like Kroger's is because all of their fruit look trash. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but all of their fruit looks so trash. I was looking at the fruit that was like cut up already. The strawberries, some of them had like soft spots on them and... Uh, uh. but i did end up getting a case of strawberries and some of the jumbo blueberries that me and kingston like he already done ate three <laughs> he already done ate three now he eating his food but yeah anyways see you in a second i have prepped everything i went ahead and cut all my veggies up garlic celery onion etc and I went ahead and washed my chicken and seasoned it up. Now I'm about to go ahead and put it in a pot because I'm going to make a one pot chicken and dumplings. And I'm going to go ahead and cook the chicken down. Once I finish cooking the chicken, I'm going to throw my veggies inside and let those, you know, absorb all of that goodness. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken broth and season my broth, etc, etc. up. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all what everything looks like thus far. And then once I get to the next couple steps, I'm going to come back and show y'all. So my veggies and then I have my chicken. If you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. This is the pot I'm going to use today. So let's go ahead and get everything started. So I am all done. I used biscuits for my dumplings. Shredded my chicken. And I really like dumplings, so. Ooh, that looks so good. My veggies in there. And she is all done. Taste test. Let y'all had a first bite. It's hot. Here you go. Oh, mm, that is so good. The perfect fall. Mm, the perfect fall little, little get together. It's hot, but it's so good. that <laughs> mm, this is so good and it's so flavorful so i found the video on tiktok and i just kind of followed her steps and did my own seasonings etc but that is good that is good and i got a whole pot just for me clean my dishes as i went one pot Mm -hmm. So I'm about to go ahead and eat. Don't know if y'all gonna see me again tonight. Because after this, I'm probably gonna go ahead and lay it down. But yeah. Today was a good day. Today was a good day. Got to praise the Lord. Listen to a good sermon. I just needed to cool off so I can really dig in how I want to. He want to throw me this damn ball.
but I will call you back, bookies. About to go ahead and yum, yum, yum. Get it in my tum, tum, tum. And then that is going to be it for the night. It is 8.16. Probably go ahead and shower and everything. Took a shower this morning before church. But just so I can be showered and ready for the gym. I'm debating because I need to be up there at like three something to go talk to the owner and and explain my concerns, my problems and my concerns. But yeah, I love y'all. Call you back. I am at Enterprise right now. I had to come up here and update my contract. Because my GEICO contract expired over the weekend. Honestly, expired like Friday. But they didn't charge me for them days. So, I had to just come and get into Wednesday. Simply because my car should be done on Thursday. Yay! And once my car get done... I'm going to drop this back off, but hopefully it's done on Thursday exactly. So, I don't have to worry about keeping this for an extra couple days. It was only like a hundred and something dollars, but still. I'm ready to get up out of this car. And I done filled it up and stuff. But now we are on the way to the gym. I didn't even make me breakfast this morning because I was just trying to get up here and get my day started. It was really simple as hell. I wanted a smaller car, but I've been driving in this for the last month and some change. That's so crazy. It's been a month and some change already. But I'm about to stop at Chick-fil-A before their breakfast stop. Give me a scramble and head on to the gym. And I have to stop by GNC to get me some more pre-workout. I didn't even... Ugh, fuck. I didn't even bring my mason jar for my pre-workout. I bought a water, but I didn't bring my mason jar. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But nonetheless, come on, bookies. I just threw this little wig on that I had on yesterday. I'm going to probably wear my curly wig tonight for work. And I might have to go up to the club, but I told... One of the office people that is over the other lady to give me a call when she gets to work. So hopefully I can get this workout done. Be at the gym by like 3. And yeah. Nothing gave me a whole chicken breast. They had it wrapped up, but I just put it in here, so whatever, child. So I tried a new flavor. Thank you, too. It's a collab that Beyond Raw had with Deadpool. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to have to raw dog it today, y'all. I ain't did that in so long, child. And by raw dogging, I mean just taking a scoop and then drinking some water. So, yeah. We're going to try that. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm a little scared. He said if I don't like it, I could bring it back. But it's not even about not liking it. The last time... I did it like this and people do it like this often they just put the powder in their mouth and am I a third world democracy so uh, no funny business but people do it like this often and I just don't understand how mm. Lord I'm scared I'm scared let me get a little water first. A 
flavor not that bad, but this shit don't want to come out. Dang. Okay. Okay, for real this time. Oh, fuck. I'm dropping shit. Okay, for real this time. For real this time. Hey, Wookiees. <laughs> so my camera would die in the process of me raw dogging this pre-workout. Don't like it. When I say don't like it, the flavor is good, but I can't. Mm -mm, it's not for me. Anywho, made it home from the gym. Just got back in from taking Kingston out. And when I say he showed his butt every time, like, like he ain't got no home training. Nonetheless, I swung by the dollar store, got nine waters, B size, for $11 and some change. That's why I say I'm not going to Publix to get them waters no more. Even the gas station is too hot, to be quite honest. But I got nine of those, and I stopped by all these, and they finally had the rice. So I got five of these 90-minute jasmine rices for like six bucks. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and season up this salmon that I took out before I went to the gym. Look at this big slab of salmon. It was only $9.42. So I'm gonna go ahead and season that up, throw it in the air fryer. While it's in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing myself to get in the shower and stuff. It's 5.02, I wanna be laying down by like 6.30 so I can get up at at least like eight. 8.30, hop in the shower. Because I'm wearing my curly wig tonight, so I'm going to have to co-wash that. But yeah, I did the silicone method on it, and seems like it worked. Seems like it worked. But we shall see by the end of the night if it really worked. We shall see. But yeah, I just came to update y'all on what's been going on and what I've been doing. Since my camera died, my other battery was in here on the charger. And I didn't have another battery. So, yeah. The battery that died is on the charger now. And we on a new battery. More than likely, I'm going to do this salmon with the little bit of broccoli that I have left. I had made a shrimp and broccoli bowl the night before last. And I'm going to do some rice. Something simple, quick. I can get it in and get it done. Yeah, we're playing with his tree. I need to pop these flowers. So I'm going to see y'all in a second. When I finish, you know, get myself together. He just showed his butt so bad. Ugh. So this is my plate. My salmon and my rice and broccoli. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call y'all back because after this, it's a wrap. It's a wrap for your baby. Y'all hear the vocals. <laughs> so, I am dressed and ready for work. Last time I looked at the clock, last time I looked at the clock, it was like 10, 10. I diffused my hair some and... The nape ain't tangled up yet. <laughs> we gonna see when we get home. I have enough time to put my lashes on. Mocha, mommy, by Fenty. I know I'm not a blush girl, but it gives like blush and bronzer at the same time. I have to do an updated makeup routine for sure, for sure. I'm about to go ahead and get out of here. Actually, I think I'm going to diffuse this part of my hair a little bit. It's been clipped up like this. So, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, 
I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit so you can kind of match the curl pattern even though it's gonna dry <laughs> she's back <laughs> love this wig love it love it love it love it love it but call you back boogies hopefully some money in here tonight you never know with this shit <laughs> Hey bookies, so today is Wednesday. I'm about to go ahead and make a quick little breakfast, some eggs and waffles, and then we're heading to the gym. I already have my fruit cleaning, so eggs, waffles, and some fruit. Then we have to go get a wax today after the gym. It is arms, back, and abs today. Y'all know the routine. Y'all know the routine. So once I leave there, we're gonna go get a wax under arms cool mama and yeah <laughs> yeah um my cycle came on a little late this month it normally comes on like the 13th 14th 15th 16th something around there but it came on if i'm not mistaken the 20 i keep a track of my cycle y'all so it came out on the 23rd of this month. And I've been keeping track since like 2021. So it switched up on your girl. It came on the 15th last month and then it came on the 23rd this month. I knew it was coming because ain't nothing been going on. But yeah, let me go ahead and make my breakfast. While my pan heats up, um, yesterday y'all didn't see me. It was kind of a lazy day, but I got up. Got to reading, studying, did what I had to do regarding that. And honestly, that was it, y'all. That was it. Passed my, my first exam. So, yeah. But um, Monday wasn't hitting on nothing. So, no need for me to refer to that. And, y'all, why they call me yesterday? And tell me that instead of Thursday, my car being ready. Now my car won't be ready until the middle of November. So, yeah. I mean, I guess it's okay. I guess. But now I just got to come out of pocket for my rental every week. Don't really care for that. But it is what it is, child. It is what it is. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain, but I wish I was to get in my car Thursday. Tomorrow is Halloween. I'm going to work tonight. I don't really know if I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, which I might. And then just ride the whole weekend out since I didn't work last Saturday. So there was nothing going on. And something I noticed, it was a lot of events going on last weekend here in Atlanta. But people come to Magic City just to see what see what the hype is about just to see what the hype is about and not spend no money so yeah i didn't work at all last weekend they said wasn't nothing going on and yeah but soon enough soon enough we're gonna be shaking and moving elsewhere not really shaking not really moving but you, you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying nonetheless i do plan on going to work tonight after the gym we got a wax i already said that just catching y'all up on what's been going on i don't have a costume i'm not really a halloween kind of person so yeah i had got an outfit um, a couple years ago and it came with like some cat ears and it's like fake latex or whatever you want to call it so i might throw on the little cat ears and call it the day <laughs> tomorrow but i feel like people might be outside today and tomorrow just because of like the whole halloween thing but yeah my pan is heated so i'm gonna show y'all my breakfast in a second so here is breakfast quick i have since i didn't take out hold on let me turn the tape 
So I didn't take out any breakfast meat last night. So I just made three eggs, my protein waffles, and I have my fruit. I don't know, I love eggs. It'd be so good. Sorry to them chickens though. Um, I'm about to go ahead and eat so I can head out of here for the day. Put a little bit more food in King's bowl. So we went out this morning for our walk and, and it's like a bunch of like school buses parked along the street. So when we were walking across the street, it was a ass load of kids, y'all. Ass load of kids. They were just so, so excited to see Kingston. All of them wanted to rub him and ask him his name. And <laughs> Child, he was loving it. He was loving it. Uh See y'all when we get to the gym. Don't know if I'm gonna really record because I'm trying to get in and out so I can go get Hooter Mama Wax. Um, come back, get situated to lay down, take a nap. I've been up since like 8 30. I slept pretty decent. I just been getting so hot in my sleep. And I don't know why. This batch of strawberries that I got from Kroger's, probably the best strawberries that I've had in a minute. They're actually sweet and not like sour. Tomorrow, I'm going to take this runner back because I want a smaller car. So, uh, I just knew I was getting my car tomorrow or sometime this week. They're talking about the middle of November. Anywho, see y'all in a second. So I'm drinking my new pre-workout. And I ain't gonna lie, this is actually pretty good. This is probably the best flavor that I've had out of all of the lit pre-workouts that I've been drinking. I like that. I like that a lot. But I am pulling into the gym. About to get this workout on. And head to the other, other, other side of town. It is 12.45. I want to get out of here. No lie. Before 3. That's the goal. Don't cross our fingers. That's the goal. I'm not bullshitting. No phone. Just music, vibes, and weights. So I am done. I just grabbed one of these today and like i said i can drink these every now and then i think the last time i had one was last week sometime so like once a week i should be okay as far as like skin issues and everything because i don't drink milk at all but i am about to go ahead and head down the highway so i can get this cooter wax and go home I got my workout done pretty fast. I started at like 1.45 and yeah, I started my weightlifting at like 1.45 and then I finished about 3.10. Me and one of the trainers was talking. In fact, I he was a Gemini too, but we were just talking about life type shit. Um, I don't know why I'm out of breath. But yeah, let me go ahead and get down the highway. I'm going to call Selma and say I'm going to be there at about 3. No, it's 3.36 now. I had to let my sunscreen sit on. Um, I'll be there at about 4.15. I'm going to say 4.30 just to be on the safe side. But come on, Bookies. Let's go. I need to vacuum this car out. I'm going to vacuum it out. My shoulder has been hurting for like the last few weeks. I need a good massage. Anyways, 
Come on, child. So we have made it. I planned that out perfect in good timing. I ain't gonna lie, my legs still hurt from Monday. What? <laughs> Let's get cool to mama done. Hey girl. Good, how you doing? My girl gonna get the job done. It's not even five o'clock. I think it's like four fifty-eight, and we're out of here. So I have to stop by CVS real quick. I haven't had Chipotle in a minute, so that's what I'm gonna eat as my after gym meal. And then I think I'm gonna swing by the beauty small store to get some lashes, and then we're going home. Ciao. why the police always be wanting to talk to me but <laughs> I just had a whole conversation with two police officers and what's so crazy is their car is undercover um they wasn't like a charger but when I say cracking up they followed me <laughs> oh <laughs> follow me on uh on YouTube, child, they seen me record, and when I was about to close the door, he was like, "And cut." Uh, I don't know why the police police men be on me, but I said, "Oh, I can't talk to y'all." <laughs> I am cracking up. I love meeting new people. So I'm at CVS now, though. Um, what y'all got going on? I feel like it's gonna be a short winter because it's November and it feels good outside, which is crazy. So we in and out. Hey, how you doing? Toothpaste. I think I'm gonna get a new toothbrush and mouthwash. So I finessed the system a little bit. Um, I had purchased my toothpaste first and then I went back after I got my coupons and I got my mouthwash, soap, and deodorant and my extra toothbrush. I don't know if I said that. If I did, I meant toothpaste. <laughs> And it went from like $20 to $13. Hmm. I had a 40% off coupon. And then I had a, what else? A $2 and something coupon. I freaking forgot to take my dollar off for my deodorant. But I'll just use that when I need some more deodorant spray. It's almost time for me to re-up on wipes. So I got some coupons for that. And... It's almost time for me to get some deodorant spray for work type shit. Now we're going to Chipotle and then I'm going to swing by the beauty spot store. I'm ready to go home. Y'all know how I am. It's 517. If I can be laying down by like 730, get me a little two hour nap in, hour and a half. 
We're gonna get up, start getting ready for work. Let's hope it's some money in there tonight, y'all. gonna be be uh wait for me tonight <laughs> now beauty supply store hey, welcome in. hey how you doing so they don't even have the ones that i really want which is the number one so i just got number 10 so i'm gonna see how i like them i got two pack of fishnets versus paying $15 when they're only $3.99. They be selling them for $15 at work, child. I can't believe that. I plan on working tonight and tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. I have some stuff I need to accomplish. And it's not going to get done with the club. So, yeah, we'll talk about that, you know, as it progresses on. Um, I am so proud of myself because it is going on 2.30 and I am out of the gym. I finished my workout probably at like 2 o'clock on a dot. I started, I'm going to say I started like right at 12, a little bit before 12. I did RDLs, sumo squats, um, leg press, body weight, single leg Bulgarian squats, calf press, and I did some abs. Your girl is tired. Your girl is tired. But not going home just yet. I have to go to buy Sephora. I'm taking this natrium niacinamide back because I think it's a little too strong for me. And I say that because I feel like every time I use it, I get like a little, I'm not going to say purging because it's not really a purge because I haven't used it enough, but I feel like little bumps pop up and we're trying to avoid that. So I'm going to just stick to my transamic acid and my soap. I cut it in threes so um the first square lasted me I think we're going on four weeks I think we're going on four weeks this Monday coming up I think it'll be four weeks exactly if I'm not mistaken but yeah so I had to stop by Ulta Get some more hyaluronic and some more neos and some more neosinamide. I feel like my routine that I'm doing is working well. <laughs> yeah, I had to close the door because turn that shit down. I don't even know what song that is. But nonetheless, y'all, nonetheless, let's go ahead and go to Ulta. I am starting my November cutoff as far as like, yeah. So, yeah. I'm ready to go home and get in the bed. I'm ready to take a shower 
and just chill out for the next few hours. My plan is to be home before four o'clock. So come on, bookies. Hello, stinky man. Hello, papa. Off to go get a tour. <laughs> Hello. So I've made it back home. I stopped at Rack Room and got some black crew socks. When I got my white gym shoes, I had picked up a white pair of these and I love these socks. So I just got a black pair and I swapped out my other Neosinamides. I think it was just a little too strong. And I got Ordinary Hyaluronic and Neosinamide. I got some more cotton rounds. Even though I have a pack and I have like five rounds left in another pack. Just wanted to make sure those were stocked up. And I got some Good Molecules pimple patches. Because I was out of pimple patches. So yeah. Girl is about to go ahead, shower, etc. It is... 344. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna take out some shrimp for later on so I can make me a little shrimp bowl. But I'm ready to lay down. Mm, 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 mm. And while I was out, my leasing office called me and basically was just wondering if I was gonna renew or not. And I told them at this you know, at this very moment, I don't plan on renewing. I have until the 20th of this month to give them my 60-day notice. Um, but why when I, when I, when I, when I say, you know, that I'm, I'm trying to move out, they want to tell me that my rent will be dropped like for almost $500. But I'm just ready to, I did the high rise thing. It was one of my dreams. I say that all the time. Did it, enjoyed it while I was here. But I'm ready to, to do something else. Even if it's just like a mid-level kind of style apartment. I don't know, I'm just over the whole, I hate waiting on the elevators. I already told y'all, I don't really want to have like neighbors and I found some really cute townhomes. I really want to get out of Atlanta. That's that's my goal. But who knows what God has for me. But that's honestly what I want to do is truck it out of Atlanta. But we'll see. Um, probably about the 1st of December, I'll go ahead and start looking for a nice townhome or something of the nature. I found some really nice townhomes on the outskirts of Atlanta that I'll go see. And I'll look into like a couple other little apartments. But, um, uh, but what I'm paying to stay here and then what they say, I don't want to pay that. I don't want to pay that. I don't want to pay that. <laughs> Especially with me, you know, trying to transition out of dancing. Not going to lie. It has been hard this year for your girl. And, you know, I just want to be smarter as far as, like, money management. And, yeah. But I'm tired, so I'm about to go ahead, get everything done that I have to do in order for me to lay down. And I'm going to call you back, bookies. Call you when I... You know, get myself together probably before work. Hopefully the weekend is hitting on something. There's a few things going on in Atlanta. And I know the Dallas Cowboys and the Falcons play this weekend. So, hopefully that brings out some people. But even, you know, dancing, that's about to be clipped out too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Deuces. But yeah, I'm going to call y'all back. Answer the phone. This is my little synthetic bob. 
Answer the phone. When a real one call. Okay? Okay. Hey, bookies. So, I am dressed and ready for work. I'm about to take Kingston out, and then I am heading to work. It is 10.22. Let's hope some money is in here tonight. Um, yeah. That is the end of this vlog, though. I love y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support continuing to come back and watch your girl i love y'all to next time to next vlog answer the phone boogies when the real one call answer that motherfucking phone